Hey guys, wanted to show you how to test a smart alternator. Uh, this is off of uh, Toyota Tacoma 2018. Um, one of the new smart alternator types where um, they don't actually output um, any higher voltage unless uh, the ECU or you know the computer for the car uh, tells it to. So uh, this is being done, I guess, for uh, emissions and, and other efficiency reasons um, makes it a little more difficult um, a lot more difficult to test uh, so I'm trying to do I've been trying to do a bench test here and I finally figured out uh, what I need to do to get this to work uh, so here it is um, essentially I've got a I've just got a power supply set up um, 12 volt power supply you can see it's running you know a little bit under 12 volts which is which is fine I threw a diode in here um, just so that I don't backfeed it when I start actually uh, putting out uh, higher voltage here. And um, what I've got is the black and the red leads just connected. This is the B plus um, alternator output post and um, you know the body of the alternator which is essentially ground. The green is the ground to my power supply, and the yellow is, as I showed you, through the diode for backfeed protection into uh, my 12 volt power supply. Uh, so you can see we're sitting at 12.78 volts, and um, one would expect that, um, you know, with a non smart alternator or something that doesn't um, have uh, a control a regulator that's under the control of an ECU or something like that. Um, you would expect this to just jump right up to something like 14 volts. Um, so I'll give you a, an idea here. I'm running my drill at, you know, maximum RPM. And you can see actually the voltage drops a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't increase at all. Um, so there's a single uh, pin on a connector back here. Let's try and show you real quick. That's right back there in that brown connector. There's a single wire in there. That is a um, connection to the ECU for the Toyota. Uh, that's a serial bus connection. Uh, it is a 12 volt um, bus. So um, I was just going to show because I've seen other videos and other people recommend you know, you just got to give 12 volts to, um, to one of the, you know, to a connector or a pin back here. And then, you know, the alternator will come to life. But I just wanted to show that, that that's not how this one works. This is actually um, a serial bus communication. So I'm just going to jump this. Um, I'm going to jump 12 volt power to this lead here um, and do the same test. And if, if that was kind of the fix or a way to test, uh, this again should jump up to higher voltage. And you can see we get the, we get the same result. So uh, what I found is that um, the, the ECU basically needs to send this guy a command. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm using a microcontroller uh, an Arduino device, a uh, microcontroller, and I have, um, I'm mimicking the commands of the ECU on this wire here. So we'll just plug this in. And now the ECU is essentially, as far as the alternator is concerned, the ECU is communicating with it. Um, so here we go. Now you can see we're putting out 13.9 volts. My drill is a little tired, but uh, there you go. And uh, just to show you, if you remove that wire, and I'll show you what's, what this wire looks like just on a voltmeter. You can see it's 10.9, but you can see it bouncing around, and that's because there's there's data being sent on there. Um, I could show with a, an oscilloscope, 
um, what that data looks like, but yes, uh, that's essentially what you need to do. If you want to bench test one of these alternators, you're not going to get output out of this thing, even if you um, excite the, you know, um, excite the regulator with, or power the regulator with 12 volts, um, you, you need to send the proper commands um, that the ECU would be sending to the alternator to get it to respond.